majestic, grand and regal are only a few of the adjectives used to describe Kenzo the Novel. And we are back here on the Nation News Network for the final of the BCA 2020 plate in a tale of experience versus youth. BNOC, which make their home out of the National Oil Company headquarters in Woodburn in St. Philip, played unbeaten throughout the season and boasts a number of former BCA Division I players, including their captain Anthony Morris, opener Ron Bates, or rounder William Lashley and pacer Kelvin Patterson. Midas Magic Ipswich, hailing from the St. Michael community of Eden Lodge, also played unbeaten in the group stage, and they are a young but talented bunch of players such as Barbados and a 19 wicket keeper batsman Shakir Paris and former elite division spinner Omar Marshall part of their lineup. This is the pitch for the match. It looked in typically prime condition. There's an experienced staff at Kensal Novel, so there will hardly be cause for concern about the pitch for a big domestic final such as this. The two captains, Anthony Morris of BNOC and Stefan Holder of Ipswich, were joined by match referee Orlando Greenwich for the toss, which was won by BNOC and they chose the field. Umpires Jimmy Lewis and Ian White make their way out to the middle. They are soon followed by the men in blue, the BNOC side, led by Morris, and the Ipswich opening pair of Shakir Paris and Andre Harris. It's the second ball of the match. William Lashley to Paris. And a bad bit of fielding inside the long on boundary from Anthony Turton brings the first four of the match. This is Anthony Morris to Harris. He plays a confident shot to get a boundary and put an early chance behind him. Bowling change now. Damien Payne to Harris. Uppish drive and Wesley Straker does the juggling act before holding on to the catch. Ipswich lose their first wicket. Payne goes for eight. They're 29 for one in the sixth over. Next ball, Payne to De Pedro Jordan. And he's bowled. Two wickets in two balls for Payne. Ipswich, 29 for two. Payne to Paris. He edges. The fielder gives chase. But the ball will beat him into the boundary. And a four for the Ipswich opener to ease the pressure. Ipswich ended the power play on 39 for two. Not a bad start but they would have wished the wicket's column was empty. Paid to Ipswich captain Stefan Holder, and he's bowled for two. Ipswich are 46 for three in the eighth over. Ipswich finally runs hard to come. Paid to Omar Marshall. He edges and breaks the monotony with this boundary to get Ipswich past 50. Paying to Paris. Big swing, and he finds the fielder in the deep. The Barbados and the 19th opener goes for 36 and Ipswich are 63 for 4 in the 10th over. At the halfway stage, Ipswich 65 for 4. Can they increase the scoring rate in the second half of the innings to put a decent total on the board? Bowling change. Bowling change. Lionel Hackett to Kimar Hood. Leading edge. Ball in the air. And Ron Bates will hardly drop a chance like that. Hud departs for seven, Ipswich 79 for five, now in the 13th over. Bowling change, Patterson to Marshall, and he looses the shackles with this shot, a rare sighting of a boundary in the Ipswich innings. Patterson to Sean Smith, he tries to take the lead from Marshall, but picks up Payne on the boundary, and he goes for a duck, Ipswich now 85 for six, in the 14th over. Morris returns to the attack and he strikes immediately. Marshall is bowled with his first delivery for 23 and Ipswich now 92 for seven in the 16th over. Into the closing stages now. Andrea Harrison to Roland Husbands. Big hit. And it's the first maximum of the Ipswich innings and no better time for it to come. Patterson to Husbands. A deceptively quick delivery and not a good shot from the batsman. He's up for 17 and Ipswich in the final over are 118 for 8. Final ball of the innings. Patterson to Shamar Marshall. And it's a biggie. Another maximum to bring the Ipswich innings to a close in fine style. What a shot. That's the final total. Ipswich 128 for 8 from their 20 overs. It's not a big total, 
but they will be happy after they lost their way in the middle of the innings. A few hundred spectators in attendance at the match and looking forward to seeing how BNOC, with all of their experience, will handle this challenge. Umpires Lewis and White take to the field again ahead of the BNOC run chase. Stefan Holder gives his Ipswich side a final pep talk as they take to the field and BNOC openers Ron Bates and Ronaldo Highland make their way out to start the chase. Fourth ball of the chase, Jomo Prasta Bates. Ball in the air and Harris takes the catch. A big blow to the BNOC chase. Bates gone for one. They're five for one in the first over. Over number three, Prasta Highland. Good delivery. It bounced, it moved, and it found the edge. And the opener is gone, caught behind for five. BNOC on the back foot on 14 for two. Next over, Omar Marshall to Rory Weeks. He goes for the big hit and finds Sean Smith in the deep. He goes for two and BNOC are 14 for three. Marshall to Harrison and he's bold. Ill-advised shot from the batsman and he goes for a third ball duck and BNOC are in big, big, big trouble on 14 for four in the fourth over. Press the pain. Nice shot. All along the carpet. Silky smooth. And that beats the fielder into the boundary. The first four in the BNOC innings. Marshall to Patterson. Strong bottom handed stroke. Two boundary riders try to get to it. But it beats them into the boundary. And another four for BNOC. Bowling change. Shamar Marshall to Payne. The batsman tries to clear the leg side and gives a catch to Micah Grant and goes for 10. BNOC are 37 for five in the ninth over. At the midpoint of their innings, BNOC are 39 for five. They still need 90 to win from the last 60 balls of the match. Shamar Marshall to Patterson. And this will be four of him. Steered away past slip and beating the chasing backward point fielder into the boundary. Michael Grant to Patterson. Wrong line, wrong length, but good, firm, confident shot. Another boundary for Patterson. Two balls later, Grant to Patterson. Again, wrong line, wrong length. A chance to free the arms, and Patterson makes him pay another boundary. Shamar Marshall to Patterson. He gives this delivery a good thump. And not a man moved as it races into the boundary for another four. The Pedro Jordan to Patterson. And the young leg spinner feels the might of Patterson's back. It goes for a maximum. It's a sixer. Patterson terrorized the Ipswich bowling with his big hitting and smashed Jordan for a second successive six. This tickle into the leg side for a single off Jordan will carry Patterson to his 50. But there's a bowling change next over. And Kimar Hood has him caught by Sean Smith at backward point for 52. And BNOC are 89 for 6 in the 17th over, still needing 39 from 22 balls. Fast forward, no one else matched his intensity with the bat. And this is the final ball of the match. BNOC finished on 121 for 6 from their 20 overs. And Ipswich win by 7 runs. Celebration time for the players and supporters of the team from Eden Lodge. Midas Magic Ipswich are the BCA T20 Plate Champions. Presentation time now. And Omar Marshall, to the delight of his teammates, is named player of the match for a tidy all-round performance. He made 23 to boost the Ipswich innings after they ran into trouble and took 2 for 13 from 4 overs that put the BNOC batting under early pressure which resulted in early wickets that gave his side an early grip on the run chase. Feels great. Feels great. Um, I told them when they came to this club because they're coming from Spartan. They played great for a whole year. And Stefan Hody Skipper asked me if he could come and give some assistance with this young crowd and lend my experience from playing first division cricket with a club like Spartan. When they came, I saw the group of guys and they were a, a little rusty, but there was a good group, a good young group. And they saw potential, they saw talent with the guys. And they didn't expect nothing else but to win this play, to be honest. What's the, do you think was the key reason for your bowling success today? Well, they assessed the wicket very early. When it was batting, the wicket was it was a good deck, but 
it started hole a little bit going out through the innings. So but pitching the ball was the key asset there. So you guys want to get in arms. Was, what was your approach to, 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 to bowling? Were, was there any nerves um, considering? Well, done this already. <laughs> Actually, got a money match at 2014 with Spartan. So done this already against Wanderers. Done it already. <laughs> yeah, I would just say that you know, I mean, with, with, with having not gotten a big total, was, was there any more additional pressure on on you to as a part of the bowling unit to, to, to perform there? Actually, even usually when we get a big total, I always tell the guys try to defend a small total. Cause small totals, even in international cricket, be hard. The guys always the batting side, batting second, always feel that being with a slow a lower total, you feel they could just have a lot of time. Pressure on the board is pressure on the board. Presentation of the winner's medals to Ipswich now. BCA President Conley Riley doing the honours and their captain Stefan Holder is first up. He'll be a proud man. And an even more proud moment for Holder. He receives the BCA T20 plate from Riley before he told us how important this title was to the club and the Eden Lodge community. We just put in your regular work. We didn't want to change anything to put any extra pressure on the guys. Just keep it normal. Let the guys know that it's just a cricket game. And you want to put the final stuff in your head. What will this victory do though for the club and the community? This is a tremendous victory for the community. Of Eden Lodge. Um, we have a T10 going on actually to showcase the youngsters in the community and with this victory and some of the youngsters playing here showcase the talent that we have in the community and will bring more exposure to the and assistance to the community. Um, you have a lot of young people playing in the club. What will have lured them or attracted them to HUH? Um, scouting, but I coach, me and my dad coach Eden Lodge Primary. Majority of the young guys come through the Eden Lodge Primary system and go on to secondary school playing cricket. And on evenings, they come out and they train with the club. So training with the club, participating, keeping them together, bringing them around the club, it keeps, it, it, it helps. You're very outstanding back from the club this season and would you single out any more players for um, commemorate? Yes, um, the pro, as they call it, Lamar Marshall, um, he's the blue. He is the, the, the player that when the guys down on the field pick them up, when we want him to go along with the back, he picks up. Um, Shamar Marshall, young left hand spinner, probably this his sixth six year playing cricket. Saw him on the arm, uh, decided the field throwing the ball, taught him to bowl, and the rest is history. So, might this magic Ipswich create history? They are crowned the first champions of the BCA 2020 plate competition for Division II clubs. The youthful outfit from Eden Lodge upstaged the more experienced BNOC in the final, winning by seven runs and a tense finish. We'll be back at Kensington Oval next Saturday on the Nation News Network for two more finals in the BCA T20 competitions. The first, between Crane Resort St. Catherine and Boscobel in the Shield final for intermediate sides. That final starts at 9 in the morning. Once that's over, it's the Royal Rumble between the two group winners from the cup competition for Division 1 and Elite Division teams. BWU, Gladiola and Wanderers have given cogent proof of their staying power to reach the cup final. It will be something extra special for whichever side wins this final because neither team has won it previously. So Kensington Oval will be the centre of the local cricket world next Saturday and we hope to see you there. Before we wrap, we take another look at the final wicket of the plate final between Ipswich and BNOC and a reminder to visit our website nationnews.com and all Nation News social media channels for your daily dose of news and sport. I'm Adriel Woody Richard.